This is Patrick from Yoga Garden, and on the screen is Kumiko, one of our teachers. Today we're exploring Dancer Pose. Dancer Pose is named after Nataraja, the dancing incarnation of the Hindu god Shiva. In classical depictions, the right hand is holding the drum of creation, while the upper left hand is holding the fires of destruction. It's a fitting name for a pose that balances both grace, power, and concentration, all on the razor's edge. It's a pretty intense pose, so be sure to warm up first. If you're doing it in the context of a class, wait until about three quarters of the way through. If you're just doing this pose by itself, make sure to do a few rounds of sun salutations first. Placing your hands on the wall, let's check the shape of our pose. The ideal shape for dancer pose is a circle, the line of the back and the line of the leg making a smooth contour. This isn't for cosmetic reasons. A smooth circle shape means that neither your hip abductors nor your lower back is working too hard or dominating the loads. Oftentimes, people are more flexible to the side than to the back, and as I try to make the pose deeper, they end up with a shape like this. The pelvis tilted to the side, the knee jutting out of line. The circle is lost and the pose loses some of its meaning. Here's that problem from a different angle. You can see that torquing the pelvis and jutting the knee out throws the whole pose out of line, the spine is twisted, and everything's out of place. As Kumiko comes into better alignment, the pose gains the grace and beauty of the god from which it is named. Here's another oversight we sometimes see with dancer pose. The knee and the hip are in good alignment. But the overall shape of the pose is flat and kind of dreary. What we need to do, like Kumiko is showing here, is to curve the spine and open the shoulders. But how exactly do you do that? Let's step back and take another look. Here's the flat, dull version. You can see the chest is pointing at 45 degrees. Breathing in, Kumiko points the chest forward rather than out the floor. So the solution to this problem is not thinking about your spine, but thinking about opening the chest and letting the shoulders come back. However, this action can't be forced. You have to use the deep inner muscles of the core. A great way to find this elusive circular shape we keep talking about is by using a strap, hooking the ankle, drawing the elbows forward, and coming up into dancer with a strap. Once here, you can choose how intense to make it by taking your hands down towards the foot for a deeper pose. This is a great way to practice, but don't overdo it. It's easy to strain the back using the strap like this. When you're ready to come down, let the hands relax and slowly open the elbows and shoulders and let the foot come down softly. Often this pose is shown with the front arm pointing rigidly forward. But I prefer to turn the palm up and bend the elbow. This opens the shoulder and brings a sense of lightness to the pose. In the end, both styles are okay. It's really just decoration. The main action of this pose is happening in the hips, the chest, and the spine. If you're feeling any soreness or stiffness in the lumbar, especially after dancer pose, a great way to relieve it is by resting the buttocks against the wall and letting the body hang down, elongating the spine and letting the head kind of melt towards the feet. You don't need any power for this pose, just breathe and relax. If you practice the initial version consistently and correctly, eventually you'll be ready to take on the final incarnation of Dancer. Grabbing the toe from the outside, the key here is to rotate the shoulder and the elbow while lifting the hips. It may look like Kumiko is using her arm to lift the leg, but 90% of the power is coming from those hip abductors that we talked about before. Just like the first version, we want to check for the same mistakes. Here, Kumiko is blowing the pelvis open and the chest is pointing down 45 degrees at the floor. The hip joints and the lower back are doing way too much work, which makes our circle disappear. Take your time, try to adjust the power evenly amongst the body parts. In Hindu mythology, Shiva as Nataraja, the dancer, brings great beauty but also great destruction to the world. And in this pose, that means you are going to fall. Have fun with the poses. Don't get frustrated. Yoga isn't any particular shape of the body. It's a way of thinking and a way of living.